I think we had over 98 different prototypes of this U over the last three years. You know, are we going to be able to talk a lot of those people out of that because they love those movies? No. But that's not who we're after here. You know, we're after the climber that really needs a tool like this, and now we're bringing to market what we think is like the best version of that. Yeah, the beefcake. So what I am holding here is a uh, one shoe that we are extremely excited to get out into the market. This is part of the generator family. This is the generator mid. So this replaces in our line what was before the maestro, but this is a completely different shoe, completely different last, completely different build from the ground up. We designed this shoe mainly for, you know, trad climbers in mind that want a, a full feature set of really good underfoot support. So if you're micro edging on multi-pitch granite uh, for you know pitch after pitch, you're gonna have very little foot fatigue, really good uh, protection from cracks because we know you are gonna be crack climbing in this thing. And um, right up at the top of the shoe, this is a mid top, so really good ankle support and protection. So starting from the bottom of the shoe, again, being that we wanna make sure that this is really supportive, really gonna mitigate foot fatigue, during long climbs, multi-pitch climbs, we're using a full length excess edge outsole. So the stiffest, most supportive rubber that we make and also a full length midsole underneath. And you can see as I try and bend this thing, it is extremely hard to get it to bend, especially in the, in the forefoot. And I'm not faking that. Like it really is really stiff, really supportive. That's totally by design. The other thing that goes along with that full length outsole, full length midsole is a unique randing system. A lot of our performance climbing rands the whole idea with that is to drive the foot towards the front of the shoe to make sure you're getting a really good power to the big toe. With a shoe like this, um, we want there to be definitely performance at the front of the shoe, but the RAND system that we're using on this, Tri-Tension, is more about underfoot support directly underneath the arch as opposed to moving the foot towards the front of the shoe. So again, you know, really good support underneath if you're micro edging for a really long time. That also is torsional rigidity for when you're inside of a crack, right? So crack climbing features on this again, you know, you're really gonna benefit um, from that torsional stability, from that full length outsole, full length midsole. One thing that we did here is you can notice this rand, this toe rand is massively huge, right? It comes way further back than what most of our shoes do. The idea there again is that if you're in thin crack, you know, hand crack, even getting back towards like, you know, off with crack climbing, the extended um, rand right here is going to kind of connect with the rest of the shoe in an area that's less likely to sort of abrade and potentially maybe pull that rand off. The rand is also an M70 rubber. So we talk about M50 all the time on a lot of our really performance shoes that does the toe wrap in the front, the softest, most sensitive, stickiest rubber. M70 is very close, it's a 70 durometer as opposed to a 50. The idea with that is a couple things. One, a high amount of friction when you have your foot inside of a crack. A really good protection again with the size of this thing. I mean, it's a really big full coverage ran. And again, soft rubber. Uh, so if you are in the shoe for multi you know, pitches, long pitches inside of a crack, that softer rubber, especially directly over your toes, is gonna just provide a lot more comfort. Keeping on the crack climbing theme, we do have some lace protection on the first three eyelets. We don't want it to be too cumbersome, right? But again, you know, from thin cracks all the way up to like, you know, hand size cracks, really good protection from that size crack. Uh, moving up on the shoe, obviously one of the biggest features is that it's a mid top, right? There's ankle protection here. That's actually the most difficult part of a shoe like this to design. Like, is the ankle too tall? Is it too low? Is the padding too thick? Is it not enough, right? So I think we had over 98 different prototypes of this shoe over the last three years. That was one of the main focuses was making sure that that ankle was striking that perfect balance of the right amount of protection, the right amount of padding, but not being too much or too little. And that's, that's quite, a, quite a hard thing to do. And I think we struck the perfect balance on this thing. Another thing I'll show you is a really nice uh, stretch tongue that also has some padding in it. So again, you know, as you're moving inside, you're, you're torquing the shoe quite a bit, moving it in different directions, especially when you're in a crack. That tongue is gonna provide a great amount of comfort, support, and also elasticity. So again, also the cool thing about this, full length lacing and a stretch tongue. So it can also accommodate a whole lot of different you know, foot volumes, widths, right? Because of that sort of dynamic tongue it has on the inside. 
the other thing that we also added on this particular model is the pack, the pressure absorbing fit heel that we've been putting on some of our shoes as we introduce them in the market or update them. Um, the idea again with that system is to alleviate a lot of pressure directly off of the Achilles tendon. A shoe like this where you're going to be climbing either on, you know, really small technical granite faces or even inside of a crack really torquing this thing, having a whole lot of uh, comfort towards the back of the shoe is really critical and that's why we incorporated a path in this particular model. Basically what you're looking at here is a neoprene lined collar. So again, we want dynamic properties. We talked about that stretch tongue that has a little neoprene in there, a little bit of elastic in there as well. Um, this, this raised uh, kind of collar over the tongue is a couple things. We wanted it to, to provide more comfort, but also again to accommodate some people might have wide ankles, some people might have, you know, narrow ankle, but depending on how you have the shoe fit and the, and the shape of your foot, uh, it's going to provide a whole lot of comfort and dynamic properties in there as well. Just more comfort and durability over time. So I do want to touch on the upper. One thing that we used on the old um, Maestro was that eco leather and, you know, Climbing shoes are really hard as a category to make an eco-friendly uh, climbing shoe because of the glues and some of the other things that are used uh, in the process. Leather is really tough because of the tanning process. You know, there's a lot of chrome, a lot of different chemicals that go into a tanning process for leather. This is an eco leather, so there's, it's chrome free. It's as environmentally friendly as, as, we, can, as we can make it. Um, in terms of like, you know, just sizing the profile, if you're kind of comparing this to any other shoe in our line or maybe the former Maestro, Completely different. This is a completely different last, completely different fit. Um, one thing I do want to talk about the fit is you're going to notice a really nice narrow uh, profile, uh, especially towards the front of the foot. If you were to look at this versus the current Maestro, that's kind of bulbous, really comfortable. We wanted this to not only have a way more low profile toe than the Maestro, but also just a way more low profile instep. So again, more technical, um, you know, better in, in cracks, especially thin cracks. Um, and then it's also tough to strike a balance, right? Like a lot of people are like, oh, you need to make that toe profile really thin. So it's really good at thin cracks. Well, that, yeah, we want to make sure that that's, that's definitely, you know, a benefit. Uh, but also like if you're never climbing in a crack and you're just face climbing on, you know, thin granite uh, holds for a long period of time, if you make that toe profile too thin, you're only thinking about thin cracks, then that becomes really uncomfortable to do any other type of climbing in, right? So, um, you know, really good, a really good, I think, um, profile to for an all around shoe. It's going to be great for, you know, technical face climbing and a really good crack climbing profile as well. Fit wise, you know, that's a tough one. You know, I would say that I think that most people that are going to be using the shoe for how it's intended for is not going to size it the same as a Drago. They're not going to size it the same as an Instinct. Um, for this shoe, when, when people come to Scarpa for the first time and they say, you know, what size should I be in? My first thing is what's your street shoe size and let's start there. I wouldn't do anything different with this shoe. I'd still say what's your street shoe size. Let's, let's see what that's like and then really start feeling like the toe profile. Are your toes really knuckled in there? Maybe that's too much, you know, um, but, if it, but you also don't want it to be loose. So I would say you would size this on the more comfortable side than anything, but we're, I don't know. Some of our athletes are using this in the same size as their instincts and their Dragos. So it really depends on the use of the shoe. So beside the generator mid, we are going to be offering a generator low. So we do feel like there are some climbers out there that love the idea of a full featured premium trad climbing shoe, really good underfoot support, really good protection over the toes, but they don't want or need a mid top. Either they don't want to go into an off width climb so they don't worry about ankle protection or they just don't like a mid top because they feel a little bit too constricted inside of it. We wanted to also bring to market a premium trad climbing shoe literally the exact same thing as a generator mid just chopped and dropped in a, in a, in a regular uh, low cut style climbing shoe um, besides that and the color it's the exact same shoe exact same shoe exact same outsole exact same midsole same full coverage m70 uh, rand the same lace protection in the front that same exact uh, stretchy padded uh, tongue that the mid has just in a shorter version and it's the exact same shoe really is if, you're, if we're talking trad climbing specifically, if you want to talk crack climbing specifically, right? Um, I would say that if your jam is going to be mostly granite, multi-pitch, um, lots of face climbing, cracks anywhere from, you know, thin, you know, thin finger crack all the way up to off with crack climbing, 
that's what the generator's for. I would say this is more of that full protection shoe. When you go back to a Vapor S, um, with the sensitivity, you might, be, you might be smearing more, really thin toe profile, really thin cracks. I would say this is more of your desert shoe where you're gonna be on really featureless faces where you do need the ability to smear against nothing uh, and also uh, thin to you know, hand crack uh, size. So a great trad climbing shoe, it's certainly not gonna provide as much support and protection as a generator. But again, if, if you're in the desert smearing thin cracks, this is a great tool for that. So, you know, again, if, you know, you kind of lead me to a good place. It's like a generator and a Vapor S make really good complementary trad climbing shoes, depending on where you're going, what size cracks you're climbing on, and what kind of rock you're climbing on as well. But yeah, that's the generator mid, and we're really excited to get this thing to market. And, you know, really, I'm not going to, we know the shoe that everyone's buying, you know, in, in this particular category, goes without saying. Um, and it's a great shoe. And we're really excited though, after you know, listening to what climbers want out of a shoe like that, maybe what's missing from options that are out on the market right now, and now finally coming to that user to market with our version of what we think is the most advanced in terms of materials, construction. We're really excited to get this particular shoe, this model in front of that climber that needs that um, mid-top protection or they, they, they want it. And this is going to be Scarpa's uh, option, and we think it's going to be the best one out there. We hope so. <laughs> We're excited. I mean, the thing is, is like I, I look at the, the TC Pro's a great shoe, and, and a lot of people wear it because there's not a lot of options out there. There's a lot of people that wear it for the wrong reasons because they saw one of the movies, right? But, but there's a lot of people that wear it because it's a good shoe and there's not many options out there on the market right now for that type of shoe. So again, that's why you know, we, we really took our time um, to really talk to our athletes that we didn't have a shoe like this before. A lot of our athletes were wearing Drago's Instincts, Vapors, and a TC Pro because we didn't have that. The Maestro is not what the TC Pro is, right? So from just getting their feedback, talking to people that are just, you know, really wear the TC Pro because it is a good shoe. It is what they need. It's a high top mirror, right? It is, it's a supportive shoe. It's like, okay, cool. Let's really think about what they're asking for um, and then look at like how we make shoes, different materials, different feature sets and like, you know, coming to market. Are we gonna be able to talk a lot of those people out of that TC Pro because they love those movies? No. But that's not who we're after here. You know, we're after the climber that really needs a tool like this. And now we're bringing to market what we think is like the best version of that. So the Maestro low top, we discontinued um, two seasons ago. And then the Maestro mid is going to be replaced by this when it comes out in spring 23. Yeah. Get your Maestros while you, while you can if you really like that shoe. But if you were a Maestro fan, um, but you were looking for little bit more performance, a little bit more, you know, chiseled technical toe profile, a little bit more refined upper in terms of the ankle collar, the padding, the protection. Um, you know, this, this replaces, again, this replaces the Maestro and the line, but it's a completely different shoe, completely different beast. Um, and I think that most people that um, got the Maestro looking for something else, they, it wasn't quite what they were expecting uh, in terms of the Maestro being a pretty bulbous toe, uh, not really a technical shoe. Um, I think that this is going to appease that person a lot more, the new generator.